Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is RPG here with another episode of my Witcher 3 walkthrough. We're picking up right where we left off in the last episode with some Novigrad Dreaming main story quest. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in. Not waste any time. Awesome. Yeah, we, in the last episode we met Triss Marigold and now we're just moving on to the next steps of this set of uh, missions here. Just passing by, wanderer, or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier, of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of the city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. <laughs> I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. The house's history? Why do you care about it? Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night and furniture moving about in the attic and last week Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the park. Not me, dude, not me. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself. I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. She's pooping in the house. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. Cool beans, bro. Truth is, we're all ready. What's going on? I'll just loot all your stuff first. Wine stone. Empty bottle? Yes, please. Oh, this is just junk. Junk. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Who are you talking to? Hey, me? <laughs> what in the world? They just hide under the bed. Wake up, it's just a dream. Wake up. Oh, she won't wake up. Interesting. She's in a forced sleep, I guess. The doll. The attic. It's like dusty as heck in there with cobwebs and stuff. All right, time to check the attic. Please. Let me relieve you of all your stuff. Stop. Go away. Leave it. Poor Tilly. You've done messed up. All right, what's up in the end? Stuff I can loot? Oh my goodness, we got all the stuff I can sell. We're gonna buy all the blink cards. Way to the next room's blocked. Cow's milk. Who says cow's milk? Uh. Uh. Hard? Let 
gotta take all the stuff. Give me your stuff. A bunch of beer. Okay, you just have like beer chilling in this cabinet. It's, it can't be sanitary. Let there be light. Drawing of a crib. Examine the drawing. Inventory. Quest items. So there's a doll. And then a drawing of a crib. Paper on which a crib has been hastily drawn by a child, it seems. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what had happened if I made a doll in it. Some weird stuff. Hello? Is there a crib in here? That's never a good sign. Oh, is this like a mystery? Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. <laughs> Guess I should find an oven. So we have to Stop. burn an oven? Go away! Don't do that. Or like set Leave fire it. to the oven? I'm assuming it's downstairs. And fall. More stuff to loot. Never forget guys, you gotta loot where you gotta go. There's an oven right here. I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would oh, someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. <laughs> Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. This is no game. I know what you are. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how do you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? 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 If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big end chases me. Ends has got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. It's a haunted house. People from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers. Especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. <laughs> Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! We're about to I hand won't. you a permanent eviction, if you know what I mean. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. 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 We're just gonna let this godling do whatever she wants. Man, Geralt, my version of Geralt just makes all the deals with all the wrong people. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. I'm always making deals with the devil, you know? What's in here? 
I just let all the, I let the beasts have it. I'm like, oh, you want to live here? That's cool. I'm trying to punch walls here. Noise. Oh, let's go upstairs. Alright, pretty lady. You gotta answer my questions. I know you just had some horrible dreams, but answer my questions now. Answer me. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. <laughs> and not at all amusing. It was all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to so she's a dreamer. Hmm. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right, see you there. The golden stud. All right, banker. Sorry, we couldn't lift the curse because we have to give your house to this godling. A deal's a deal, and Geralt's a very terrible witcher. <laughs> I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite? House is still haunted. Uh, can't seem to lift the curse. There we go. I'll lie. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! <laughs> oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. <laughs> I, I wish I had enough uh, money just to like. Ah, uh, well. I know I paid a bunch of money for that house, but it, you know, I'm rich, so it doesn't matter that much. Man, we're just this city sucks just as much as the south side. We were uh, hanging out with Velen, and you know, in Velen, and that place was everybody was dying every two seconds. And now we're inside the city, and everybody's dying two seconds. Chris Marigold sent us to him and I get loot stuff? Yep, this is steel stuff. Oh. 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 So apparently that's stealing, guys. So learn from my, my mistakes. I have lost coin. So I robbed and then um, he killed me. Which is the first time that I've ever had that's ever happened to me. So I just died. So that was uh, unfortunate. But the more you know. Non human are Look for your kind beyond the How much coin did I exactly lose? I do not know. So they're upstairs. I long to curl up with a bottle. Hello. Hello lady. Hello, Corin. A dream in here. Never okay. witnessed a seance like this before. A dream in here. Participated. I will yeah, guide you. Like your bed. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Girl also always answers from the heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with. I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. Yeah. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? 
I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. Ah, so she allows you to dream. Nightmares or strong desires hmm. impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Seed from chaff? Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I remember when we first met. She was there when I died. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Hmm. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Sure. Yes. No need to rush. We have time. We are an open book, lady. We are an open book. We will tell you everything. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. <laughs> Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? I'm an open book, lady. I kept it. Yes. Mostly because I, I want to. So. I want to hear these memories. In that case, so. I'm listening. I'll, I'll divulge. I'll divulge everything. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Siri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Don't ever <laughs> try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say, I lady. More to say. Then I'm an open book. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For God's know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You did? You a zombie? You the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. They call her the Lady of Space and Time. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falcon? Hmm. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy <laughs> when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. <laughs> have divulged every Let's detail. See. Do you wish to say more? No, not this time. No. Can we start? Naturally. He's realized that he's maybe overshared at this moment. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. 
Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Dandelion? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. She's like knitting while he's... Alright, what's this dream gonna be about? That's a very weird dream. <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. Hmm. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Wow. Well, that was an intense, uh, you know trip down memory lane and as we finish up novigrad dreaming that is where we're going to go ahead and end today's episode guys so thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed these videos please like and subscribe uh, we delved into a little bit more of the siri background with carol and kind of the memory lane there so that was pretty cool uh, but without further ado we'll uh, go ahead and end the episode so um, i hope you guys uh, tune in next week and as always have a good one